Facebook privacy issues came up at a conference in Tampa today called the Synapse Innovation Summit. 10 News reporter Garen Flowers was there. What'd you learn? So Catalina, the conference brings together entrepreneurs to talk about the latest technology. It was so fascinating to see how all the different companies see our data as their biggest commodity. So I talked to two experts about the Facebook issue and about different things that these companies use to find our data. And frankly, people don't realize that the most exploitable device on the planet is the human mind. Um, we have generations of children right now, or our generation, including my children, are born into a social media world. A world where they're consistently confronted with iPads, video games, TVs. And one of the big problems is we need to work within our society to make people understand the consequences of putting information onto these platforms. Facebook admits that maybe they did a moral breach. They haven't admitted to any legal breach. Um, they don't want their users to not know how their data is being using, so, used. So they've taken steps and they, they talk about implementing a new privacy policy in terms of service to go into effect shortly. All right, so I've gathered two recommendations from both of them, and the first one, she said it herself, might be a little annoying, but read the terms and conditions that you agree to, especially those apps that connect to fa Facebook when they say, would you like to connect or this account through Facebook? And so many times we just click OK and move on, yeah. but read it. You just want to get through it. I do it all the time, so now I'm going to read it and say, OK, what am I really agreeing to when I do that? Uh, the second thing is to try to know what you have out there and expect your privacy to not be so private anymore because you're putting that information online. Anyone can find it. All right, thank you, Karen. We've been seeing a lot on social media today about Lightning owner Jeff Vinnick, and that is because he has some really tough words for the Bay Area when it comes to our transportation. Yeah, he does. He was speaking at the summit that Garen just mentioned. Um, he told the crowd, we must improve our transportation network. If you don't want a car, you shouldn't have to have one. This was tweeted by the interim CFO of Hillsborough Area Regional Transit. He says, now we as a community, we have to find options. According to the Tampa Bay Times, Vinick also told the crowd Tampa is behind when it comes to transportation and other tech innovation. His company, Strategic Property Partners, and its Water Street project are expected to jumpstart Tampa's innovation.